Hey and welcome to Girls Can Do Anything, the show that encourages ladies to just give it a crack. Today we bought a secondhand fish tank and stand and we're just checking it over to make sure it's all in working order. We've seen that on the stand here there's uh, a bit of wood rot here which shows that there's been uh, water sitting on here for quite a while. So we're going to do a bit of a repair on this corner. The other thing we're going to do, this is a fish tank, we're going to make sure that it's not leaking anywhere. Given this a really good dig out but you can see that um, it's quite deep so we're actually going to take this piece out and replace it and then we can wood putty the rest and we'll be good to go okay so there's a couple of nails coming in this way and this way so we've just got a hacksaw blade here and we're going to hacksaw through to cut the nails off <laughs> all right so we've got a couple of nails down this end but hopefully we can just pull it out There we go. So now I can take this down and get a same piece of wood. We can see this one was pretty rotted out and rather than us having to fill all of that, we're going to, um, rather than just get another piece that fits there, we're gonna chisel this out a bit further and I'm gonna do a long piece that's gonna go right across there. It's gonna brace it. that piece in there's far less for us to have to patch up so I'm just going to use some of this it's a wood blend it's just for patching wood uh, just some that I had left over it doesn't really matter what color it is because we're not going to see it anyway but it says it also only do it in um, depths of 10 mil which is one centimeter so I'm not going to fill it right up now I'm going to get some in there and then let it dry and then come back in two hours and fill up a bit more. This one's fine, I can do this side. It's dried out now, but um, because it's quite cold weather, it's taken quite a while, but we're gonna fill that up a little bit more and then we'll be done. This has all been dried out, it's been a couple of days. The issue we've got is this piece of wood here is just half a mil higher than the rest of the surround. So we're gonna get it, uh, we're gonna sand it down, get it nice and flat so that the whole of the frame is flat for the fish tank to sit on. All right, we now have a beautiful, nice finish. It's flat all the way along. This will stop your fish tank flexing if there's um, an issue with one part being higher than the other. Now that we've got all this sorted and it's ready to go, we're gonna spray paint it black so it matches the rest of the furniture in the room. <laughs> okay, now we've finished painting it, we're gonna move it inside and set up the fish tank. Check out my other video on how we fixed the fish tank and stopped it from leaking, and we'll show you the end result.